Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough for the game Temerity by David Zoloff. The game plays two players and involves us playing down spirits, fairies, and warlocks, attempting to defeat our opponents by sending away attacks. Our objective is to do the most damage, not cumulatively, but the most in one singular attack before the game is over. If you're able to do the highest amount of damage by the end of the game, you will be the winner. However, if you're not able to do it, well, you try again next time. <laughs> well, you can play in rounds too, best of three or best of five. Yeah, the game is very quick and very simple to learn. We're going to go ahead and teach you right now, show you a playthrough of the game, talk a little bit about it, and then you can go ahead and take a look at the link down below in the description where you can pick up the game Temerity. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and play a game of Temerity. I will explain the game as we go. Basically, what's going to happen is we're going to go ahead and take the deck of cards, and we're going to go ahead and shuffle it up. There are three types of cards in the deck, fairies, spirits, and warlocks. And these cards will be playing face up and face down on the field. On your turn, you are going to start with your five cards. Me and, me and Callie are going to start with our five cards here. And then one of us will start the game off. And I just guess I'll go ahead and start to show you how it works. Uh, I can play a card face down or face up. And then, optionally, I can reveal one of my face down cards face up and perform its ability. Each card has two different abilities, except for the Warlock, it has a bonus, like, once per game ability, which kind of resets your hand. Um, but for the most part, you have Fairies, you have Spirits, and you have Warlocks. Fairies do damage, Spirits multiply, and Warlocks kind of destroy. Uh, and I'll have Callie explain the cards. That's what they do face down and face up as we play the game. So I'm going to go ahead and take a card, and I'm going to go ahead and place it face down on my field. After I do that, I can optionally flip a card face up, uh, and I will go ahead and draw a card. Yeah, so there's three um, different cards, and they do different things depending on how you play them, face up or face down. So always first on your turn, you'll play one card, or, or more, depending on the card, face up or face down. And I'll show you now, I will choose to play the spirit card face up. So the face up ability, multiply, is going to allow me in the future to multiply an attack, which would be fairy cards. So each uh, spirit card is gonna multiply my fairy attack by two. And this is gonna stay on the field possibly uh, throughout the game or until it gets destroyed. Mm. But if I had placed this face down and revealed it later, the spirit card will destroy the other player's uh, face down cards. Now, can I play a card face down and flip it face up right afterwards? No, you have to wait till a different turn later uh, to flip your card face up. Sorry, yeah, right here. Mm. And then, um, then yeah, I have nothing face down to flip up, so I'm going to skip that phase and draw up to a hand limit of five. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play my spirit face up as well for my multiplier and pass. All right, and then I'll show you the next type of card you can play. Another card is a warlock. So I'll place this one face up and I'll play two of them. You want to play, warlocks will give you control. So I'm trying to take control of the spirit cards that my opponent has, and you have to play one or more spirits in order to take control. And you must have less than or equal to the number of spirits your opponent has in order to gain their spirit. So she's going to lose her spirit, but she's going to take mine. And it'll also let her draw additional cards. She discarded two, so she's going to go ahead and get to grab two new cards. Yeah, I have nothing to reveal, so I'm going to draw two cards. I know. Okay. All right. I am going to play. Hmm. Warlock. So the face down ability for warlocks is to um, destroy, but face up cards that the opponent has. And then spirits destroy face down cards. Yes. Okay. I'm done. Alright, I'm going to play a card face down this time, so I'll start building my face down. Okay. And I can't reveal that one, so I'll skip and draw a card. Oh, I didn't draw a card on my previous turn. Whoopsie. Alright, um, I will go ahead and play... Hmm. I'll go ahead and attack you. 
I'm gonna go ahead and attack you with four fairies because I can play more than one fairy when attacking face up. Mm -hmm. And now what's interesting about attacking is Callie has the option to reveal a face down card. And if she has a fairy, she can reveal that and counter attack me. So she can redirect my attack back at me if she has one. And I do, so I'll reveal my fairy, use the revenge ability. So now she's gonna be redirecting the four attack to me. I can check my face down cards and I do have a revenge as well. So I will be able to revenge the attack back to her, which means that she's just gonna take four, which means the total count of damage is four. I have the highest amount of damage and that is four. And uh, these fairies will actually stay on the field so that I can be able to use them on another turn, hopefully. hopefully. And then I'm also going to be able to draw four cards from the deck, pushing the deck even further because the game ends when the deck and cards in your hand run out. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to attack as well, and I have four. However, I also have a spirit card, which will multiply it to eight. I can't do anything, so I'll just take the damage. So I've lost my four. She now has the eight, and uh, she is ahead of me right now. Okay, now... And I will draw four. It, what, what, what is this card here? <laughs> is this card a spirit? And if it was a spirit, what would happen? So if you, uh, on your turn, so you still have to play a card first. Before right, you could reveal right. It, but then you revealed a, a spirit. Spirit gets rid of face down cards. Right. So that right. wouldn't do anything for you. That's too bad. And a warlock, though, would get rid of face up cards. <laughs> but I do have a warlock. Yes, so the right. warlock will remove all of her face up cards. All right. Okay. Uh, I don't like you having a multiplier there. Hmm. So. I'm going to draw a card. Let me see. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take control of that one. Okay. <sighs> and draw. I'll just play a multiplier, I think, and I'll just draw a card. Okay. I'm going to play a card face down. And draw one. I'm hoping that that's not a revenge card because I'm gonna drop another three fairies down to attack you hoping that this is actually to get rid of all my face-up cards. It's not a fairy card. It is a, it is a warlock then so she is hoping to get rid of all my stuff so I'm going to attack her and that's gonna do one two three four five six seven times two which is a 14. Mm. And then I will draw back up to five and i pass turn she'll reveal her she'll play a card and then she's going to reveal her warlock mm. <laughs> 14 for uh, me <laughs> i should have played this before i went to use the redraw ability mm. so, so I, you're going to go ahead and discard your hand and so will i right yeah, so i believe it's yeah it's face down so when cards are discarded that are face down, they always get discarded face down. So okay. no one knows. And then you're going to get five. get five new cards. All right. And I will also, yes, reveal my warlock. It at least wipes the field. <laughs> okay. So and that redraw ability is one One per, per game. game. Right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play a spirit. A mighty spirit. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and play a card face down. Okay. I will play a card face down as well. Oh. Prepare for my trap card. <laughs> going to take control you absolutely are and I'll keep that face down hmm. 
I'll go ahead and steal that back from you. And I'll draw. Deck's running a little thin yeah. now. It uh, <laughs> looks like I'm like a little bit of a trouble now. Yeah, take control of this again. <laughs> Why do you keep trying to steal my spirit? <laughs> Because it's just going to keep coming back. It, it, it likes me. It's my friend. But I want that spirit. <laughs> You're just helping me wind the deck down. No. Spirit back into my hand. Or Warlock out and spirit back to me. Okay. Uh, play my own spirit. I'm running out of time here. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and play a warlock, really? and my spirit goes, sadly. My objective right now is to play defensively. Oh. I am trying to stall the game at my 14 points. I want to be the highest points at the end of this game. Okay. Okay. So we can keep playing. It's tactical withdrawal, even, not stall. Even though the deck runs out, we could keep playing until someone gives up. <laughs> <laughs> she, you can't see her, but she just did a big <laughs> hand wave. I got no cards left in. I'll play this guy here. Hmm. <laughs> Pass. I'll play this guy. No, you have to play a card. Ah. Uh... Spirit gets rid of the face down card. Wait, and that wasn't a spirit, or was oh, it? Oh, it was. It was, yes. So that you get rid of yours as well. And those go face down. Oh, no. Um, and that was your turn, right? So my turn. Yep. Okay, I have, I have three fairies. So that's three times, times two. two is six. Times two is twelve. Oh. Which isn't enough. Oh, and you got rid of? I shouldn't have actually removed your face down cards. You got rid of two fairies, so I well, could counterattack. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could have done it back to me anyway, though, if you wanted to. I have to play a card first, though. It's true. That's true. You <laughs> that could have attacked. Card. Like, how long do I wait before I reveal it? And then I had two more spirits. <laughs> had a lot of warlocks, though. Yeah. My hand was totally spirits when I did the redraw, was why. So it was really close. You had, it, you had it for a minute, then I had it for a minute, and then yeah. at the end here, if you had, like, one more... One more fairy in or your hand. <laughs> or if I didn't have so many warlocks to take them from you, we would have got it. Mm -hmm. Well, that is the game, Temerity. If you're interested in picking up, there'll be a link down below in the description. A uh, rather tight uh, placement game that's kind of like you're, you're building a tableau. It also kind of removes itself by playing cards and whatnot. And it's a really kind of really tight game, tight play style. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game playthrough for the game Temerity, a two-player game all involving playing cards face down and then revealing them or playing them face up and doing the damages and trying to defeat your opponent by having the most score. As you can see with our game, it was really close, came back and forth a few times and a couple mistakes were made on both ends. It's kind of like deducing who is playing what and when, but yeah, anyway, if you want to check out the game like I said before, there's a link down below in the description. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out our Unfiltered Gamer game. game Gamer.com site. Got tons of board games, uh, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, all that good stuff. You can also go and jump on Patreon for us. One buck a month helps us out greatly. Helps us do more and more of our live streams, show off games just like this when we play games every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST. And of course, you, want, you can watch all the rest of our YouTube reviews and or playthrough videos that we'll be making throughout this time. Merry Christmas to you all. I know it's coming up very soon. We'll have our Christmas guide out as well. And as always, I look forward to seeing you guys next time.